Today, we're going to be putting together a team made up of the best small players in baseball. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be considering small those who are 5 foot 10 or shorter. I believe this is a good benchmark for this concept considering an average major league player is 6 foot 2. This team is going to be made up of position players exclusively, as I did with our last All Giant Team video. Instead, we'd have a host pitching staff, in this case being the Red Sox, since I'd consider a Red Sox to be the smallest item among major league team names when considering height, length, and weight. Sure, the White Sox could also work this as well, but I'd rather just leave them out of this concept entirely. I'm also going to be presenting the players based on their spot in our hypothetical batting order this time. Now, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Leading off our lineup would be first baseman Luis Arise, who stands at exactly 5'10". Luis might not fit the typical slugging first baseman mold, but he has seen some time there in the past and would slide in nicely leading off our lineup, considering his insane bat on ball skills that have led to a career 326 average in 5 years, along with back to back batting titles. 2023 was of course his best season yet, in which he posted a 133 OPS plus, 354 average, and 861 OPS through 147 games played, his second straight season with over 140 games. I'm not mad about this pick at all, even if the options for this position are about as thin as they'll get. Now, batting second and playing center field is rookie phenom Corbin Carroll. Another 5'10 powerhouse, Corbin slots in as perhaps the most exciting player on our team, with his raw power, insane speed, and advanced plate discipline. All of these tools helped him to a 134 OPS plus this season, while leading the league in triples with 10 and throwing up 54 stolen bases in just 59 attempts. He also slugged 25 home runs along with 30 doubles, becoming the first rookie in MLB history to put up a 2050 season. While he hasn't had the best defensive start in center field, I would firmly believe in his ability to put in the work and succeed there long term, even if this isn't what's going to happen in real life with the Diamondbacks. Batting third for our team and playing one of the best right fields in baseball is Mookie Betts, who might be our biggest slam dunk of the entire video, despite, ironically, being the shortest player we've talked about so far at 5'9". What can be said about Mookie that hasn't already been said? The guy is quite simply unbelievable, with a career 64.6 B-War through just 10 major league seasons, including two partial ones. Along the way, he's managed to tally almost 1,500 career hits, over 250 homers, 172 stolen bases, and a 138 OPS+, plus, including tallying his second highest career number in that regard this season at 163, while also crushing his career high in home runs at 39. On top of all of this, he also has the ability to play both second base and shortstop stop in a pinch and play them pretty well. That kind of versatility, along with his Hall of Fame hitting and fielding credentials in right field, make this an absolute grand slam of an addition to the team. Hitting cleanup for our tiny terrors would be 5'6 DH Jose Altuve. Now, I know in real life Altuve is still playing the field consistently, but that's not to say he's playing it well. In fact, according to DRS, he might just be the worst defensive second baseman in recent baseball history, with a negative 69 total in this regard. On top of this, he's also posted three separate seasons with at least a negative one D war. With his atrocious fielding out of the way, he'd be free to bring his immense hitting credentials to the box every time, with his over 150 OPS plus over the last two seasons playing nicely in our lineup, along with his plus 520 slugging percentage in this time and roughly 920 OPS. He's also an efficient base runner and rarely if ever strikes out, with a career K percentage of just 12.4%. Now, batting fifth and playing third base is one of the most underrated superstars in baseball today, Jose Ramirez, who stands at 5'9". Perhaps the most impressive stat I could list about Jose has been his consistent output over the past seven seasons. In that time, he's only finished with an under 5 war in a full season once, and that was way back in 2019. Over the same period, he's put up over a 130 OPS+, plus, nearly 30 homers a season, and around 25 stolen and bases a year as well, making him perhaps the most consistent 2020 player of the last decade. His defense is also solid year in and year out, as he's managed to post a 5.6 D war overall, with just one season where he was below average in this regard. Slotting in at number 6 is slugging 5'8 middle infielder Ozzy Albies, who would of course be playing second base for us. Much like many of the other players in this team, despite his small size, Ozzy packs quite a punch with a 4.79 career slugging percentage, and 4 separate seasons with over 24 home runs, and 3 with over 40 doubles. Albies is coming off his best overall season, in which he posted a 124 OPS+, plus, 849 OPS, and 513 slugging, along with 33 home runs and 4.7 B war. He's been a consistently good fielder since he made his debut as well. 
We now come to perhaps our biggest upside pick, catcher Francisco Alvarez, batting 7th. While a 5'10 rookie didn't have the best overall season in 2023 in the box, as he ranked below average in both OPS Plus and wins above average, he did still crush 25 home runs in 123 games, while also throwing up some impressive defensive numbers, including an elite 9 framing run saved. With the kind of raw power this kid possesses, I fully believe in his ability to post above average hitting seasons for the foreseeable future, especially considering his young age of just 22 years old. He will have to work on his 26% strikeout rate and 44% ground ball rate moving forward, however, as both of these things will largely mitigate his production if left unaddressed. Batting 8th and playing an elite shortstop would be Korean import Ha Song Kim. The 5'9 infielder actually put up the second highest B-War of any player on our team this season, with his insanely impressive 5.8 total. This was accompanied by a 110 OPS+, 38 stolen bases, a 351 OBP, and an off-the-charts 2.1 D-War, his third straight season with an over-2 mark. He's a solid hitter, sure, but we would 100% be taking him for that glove, and his speed towards the bottom of the order would only help as well. And now, rounding out our lineup at number 9 would be our second straight glove first player, 5'9", Stephen Kwan. While Quan Star has dimmed slightly since his top 3 Rookie of the Year finish in 2022, he still was an extremely solid ball player in his second year in the big leagues, putting up a 3.6 B war built largely on the back of a 1.2 D war, while swiping 21 bases with a 340 OBP. But it's the advanced metrics that really do paint a higher resolution picture as to how impressive his defense was, with outs above average ranking him as tied for the 6th best overall outfielder in baseball with his plus 9 mark. He won the gold glove in left field last year and could very easily do the same this year. While he may not give you the most in the box, I do believe he's somewhere in between the 124 OPS plus he put up last year and the 100 mark he put up this season. Well, that does it for our MLB All Tiny team. Leave a comment below for any players you think I may have missed, along with what other teams you'd like to see me build in this vein. For example, I'm workshopping the idea of an MLB All Chubby team next. Now, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.